This is Witchbase News for Friday the 28th of October 2022 ...I'm Commander Burr. An Elite Dangerous News this week. The Stargoids continue to draw closer as update 14 looms. There's another chance to win a Halloween paint pack and a Thargoid attack in the California Nebula sows confusion in the community. You know how this bit goes. If you enjoy our stuff smash a fire the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell to see all our Elite Dangerous content. You can also join our Patreon which directly supports the work we do here at the pit. Links to that and everything else are below. As we reported last week following Frontiers Halloween special livestream a new treasure hunt arrived in the game that when followed through gifted some Halloween paint jobs. The treasure hunt was launched on the 20th of October and was solved within a few hours of arriving in the game. There appeared to be no other parts to the treasure hunt and as such we've been left with the slightly odd situation where the Halloween in game event started and largely finished a full 11 days before Halloween itself. At least for those chasing it down in the first instance. If you're still in the market for yet more Halloween themed paint jobs then there is currently a competition running on the official forums from now through until the middle of next week to win a Noctule Hex paint job bundle. All you need to do is fill in the blanks in a given sentence with something appropriately Elite Dangerous themed to be in with a chance of winning. We've linked to the competition in the description below if you fancy giving it a punt. In what is becoming a regular weekly occurrence another unidentified interstellar anomaly or stargoid popped up last week since we recorded this show. Bringing the total of unidentified presumably alien swirly things headed towards the bubble to 8. Stargoid 3 is according to the Canon UIA tracker currently perilously close to HIP 22460 and its current trajectory appears to be taking it right through the system. Stargoid 1 by a Nats whisker is still the closest to Earth at roughly 430 light years. If you're bubble bound currently and you've not seen one of the intergalactic interlopers then there's never been a better time. To track one down take a look at the Canon Stargoid tracker linked below and you'll see that each Stargoid is generally placed between two systems at any given time. If you travel to one of those systems then target the other system in the pairing and look toward it you should see the approaching or departing Stargoid covering the targeted star. As things stand we believe the Stargoids will be arriving at their destinations toward the end of next month with the expected arrival of update 14 into the game. A Galnet news item that appeared on the in game news feed yesterday afternoon sent a ripple of anticipation through the community reporting as it did multiple attacks from Thargoid forces in the region surrounding the California Nebula around a thousand light years from Sol. As is often the case with such in game occurrences the area and in particular the two systems specifically named in the report was flooded with arriving fleet carriers in anticipation of either what had just happened or what was to happen next. The anticipation and tension was further compounded when coupled with the fact that no apparent community goal had arrived with the weekly server refresh leading to further speculation that something else would be happening in its stead. In reality the two systems mentioned in the report specifically California Sector CQYC5 and HIP18077 are in fact showing a minimal Thargoid presence with just 3 non-human signal sources present in one of the systems when we checked this morning whilst the other system HIP18077 was completely devoid of Thargoid signal sources. HIP did feature a megaship that showed signs of Thargoid assault that being the regular green gas cloud and caustic burn markings but otherwise no Thargoid presence whatsoever. The megaships logs seem to indicate that it was reporting some sort of pirate activity making no mention of Thargoid intervention whatsoever. 
The region is currently reporting no burning stations and whilst there are reports of heavy concentrations of non-human signal sources in other parts of the nebula there have been, so far at least, no reports of any Thargoid conflict zones. As things stand the news item stands out as somewhat of an oddity. It does make mention that meta alloy supplies may be disrupted as a result. If that is Frontier flagging something to the player base then we're honestly struggling to understand what weight could be brought to the conversation but if you have any thoughts on any significance we may have missed we'd love to hear from you in the comments below this video. All of this has led to a degree of confusion in the community. It appears to be an attack that isn't an attack or an attack with no consequence maybe as starports and stations are all still online, undisturbed and decidedly most definitely not on fire. Thargoid motivations are often hard to decipher but arriving as it does largely unrelated to anything and then apparently not having any meaningful consequence from its passing this attack, if that's even the right word for it, confuses more than usual. It's something of an odd news week this week and we have to figure that what we're seeing at the moment is likely the calm before the storm. That storm being the arrival of update 14 at the end of November. Are you currently stalking the California Nebula scratching your head? Will you be viewing a Stargoid for the first time this week? What do you think will happen to the bubble when they finally arrive? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.